Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer for this Tuesday morning. And our service begins on page 77 of the Book of Common Prayer. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, come, let us adore him. And we turn to page 82 for the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, come, let us adore him. Our psalm reading today is Psalm 61 and 62, which begins on page 668 in the Book of Common Prayer. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O oh God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him so will I always sing the praise of your name, and day by day I will fulfill my vows. Psalm 62. For God alone my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail me to crush me, all of you together? as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall. They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him. 
for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath, all of them together. Put no trust in extortion. In robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Tell me, you who desire to be subject to the law, will you not listen to the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave woman and the other by a free woman. One, the child of the slave, was born according to the flesh. The other, the child of the free woman, was born through the promise. Now this is an allegory. These women are two covenants. One woman, in fact, is Hagar from Mount Sinai, bearing children of, for slavery. Now Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children but the other woman corresponds to the Jerusalem above. She is free and she is our mother. For it is written, rejoice you childless one, you who bear no children. Burst into song and shout, you who endure no birth pangs. For the children of the desolate woman are more numerous than the children of the one who is married. Now you, my friends, are children of the promise, like Isaac. But just as at that time, the child who was born according to the flesh persecuted the child who was born according to the spirit, so it is now also. But what does the scripture say? Drive out the slave and her child, for the child of the slave will not share the inheritance with the child of the free woman. So then, friends, we are children, not of the slave, but of the free woman. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let's turn now to page 88 and say together a song of creation, beginning with the invocation, and then we will uh, use the section titled The Cosmic Order, and then the doxology, which is on page 90. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O oh, heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord. 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. After Jesus had left that place, he passed along the Sea of Galilee, and he went up the mountain where he sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the maimed, the blind, the mute, and many others. They put them at his feet, and he cured them, so that the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they praised the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have, and have nothing to eat, and I do not want to send them away hungry, for they might faint on the way. The disciples said to him, where are we going to get enough bread in the desert to feed a great, so great a crowd? Jesus asked them, how many loaves have you? They said, seven and a few small fish. Then ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all of them ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Those who had eaten were 4,000 men, besides women and children. After sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people of God. Let's turn now to page 93 and say together Canticle 18, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Apostles' Creed is on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Turn to page 98 for suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us offer our individual prayers and thanksgivings, remembering especially those who are suffering, grieving, hurting, or fearful today. Lord God, life continues even in this strange and restricted way. The cycles of life are insistent. There is birth, there is death, there is illness, there is the threat of broken relationships, of conflict within the homes, and fearfulness as we look at our world around us and the many ways in which it is broken. But you, O oh God, are with us through it all. In our lockdown, in our mask wearing, in our catching up with the news that we really don't want to hear or see, you are by our side and you give us all that we need if only we are there to receive it. So Lord, help us to receive. Open our hands and our hearts and our minds and our ears to feel and hear you, your voice, your presence, your overwhelming love. Be with us today and every day. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
And we'll say together the prayer of St. Chrysostom, which you'll find on page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.